Okay, what I'd like to do is show you how to simplify um, this when you have two binomials. So what we're going to do is we need to remember what the distributive property is. So the distributive property, real quick, um, just kind of give you a little bit of points here, is let's say I have 5 times 1 plus 4. Okay? What the distributive property says is a lot of times if you're going to use your PEMDAS rules, you'd say 1 plus 4 is 5. Right? Which we know the answer here is 25. What distributive property says is we can also rewrite this as rather than doing it like that, you could say 5 times 1 plus 4. Instead of doing it like this, let's say you couldn't maybe, it meant, let's say you couldn't maybe evaluate 1 plus 4, right? You couldn't actually figure that out. But what you could do is you could multiply the 5 times 1 and then add it to the 5 times 4. So 5 times 1 is 5 plus 5 times 4 is 20, which again gives us 25. So here, if you guys look at these, these are not like terms. This is a 2x and this is a negative 4. So 2x minus 4, you can't combine that because you don't know the value of x. So the answer for this is definitely not a negative 4 or, or definitely not a negative 2 or a negative 2x. You can't combine them. We don't know the value of x. However, what we can do is we can use distributive property to help us simplify it. So I'll do distributive property to give me 7 times 2x plus a positive 7, because I'm doing a plus a positive 7, times a negative 4. And then here, if you have this have a negative sign, what you can do is let's rewrite this as a negative 1 times 10 minus 3x, right? Because what that really remembers, that's, that's the same thing as like a negative 1. So therefore, this becomes 14x. A positive 7 times a negative 4 is a negative 28. And then negative 1, negative 1 times 10 is a negative 10. And a negative 1 times a negative 3x is a positive 3x. So here I kind of split it up. Here you could have done the same thing. I guess maybe not to confuse you, I'll just do it again. This one would be a negative 1 times 10 and minus 1 times a negative 3x. So therefore I get a 14x minus 28 minus 10, negative 1 times negative 10, and this would be a positive 3x. Now what I need to do is I need to see what numbers can I combine. Well, obviously a number and a number you can combine. And a number multiplied by a variable and a number multiplied by a variable, as long as the variables are the same and they're in the same degree, which would be 1, then you can combine them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this as 14x plus 3x equal, or I'm sorry, minus 28 minus 10. So 14x plus 3x is 17x and negative 28 minus 10. So if you owe me $28, right, that's a negative 28. And then you're going to subtract or borrow 10 more dollars. You now owe me $38. So that is your final simplified version.